When I was a young child, I did not understand that I wanted to be a teacher, McKinney said, holding back tears, on the stage Friday, April 20, in the Umstead Hotel in Kerry. I knew that I wanted to be a Jedi Knight. Free Bird McKinney is your 2018 NC Teacher of the Year, and he is devoting that honor to his shire in Burlington. And if I couldn't be a Jedi Knight, then I would settle for being Indiana Jones, he continued. And if being Indiana Jones was not in my future, then I would use my backup plan, an astronaut. But today, I humbly and gratefully stand before you as what I was meant to be, a teacher, and I wouldn't change that for a thing. So the real question, one that I pose to each and every one of my students on the first day of class, is are you born to be someone? Or do you choose to become you? McKinney is in his 14th year of teaching and has spent his last three years at Williams High School, teaching world and European history and developing the International Baccalaureate Program. He was one of nine regional finalists honored during the luncheon Friday, where State Superintendent Mark Johnson made the official announcement about 2 p.m. after numerous speakers, including Governor Roy Cooper. As the Burroughs Welcome Fund North Carolina Teacher of the Year, McKinney will receive a number of travel opportunities and gifts. He will spend the next school year traveling the state as teaching ambassador. He will receive a one-year lease on a new Honda from Flow Automotive LLC, as well as a mobile device from Lenovo valued at about $1,600, an engraved vase, a cash award of $7,500, and a trip to the National Teacher of the Year Conference, as well as International Space Camp. Well, he had wanted to be an astronaut. And he will spend a summer traveling abroad in Mexico compliments of Go Global NC. McKinney also will serve for two years as an advisor to the State Board of Education and for one year as a board member for the NC Public School Forum. Free Bird deserves this as much as anyone could possibly deserve it, ABSS Superintendent Bill Harrison said. I've seen so many teachers in 40 years at this, and Free Bird is as good as I've ever seen. He inspires kids, he inspires adults, he inspired this whole room today, sitting here, and every time I hear him speak, I'm inspired. Every time I watch him interact with the students in his classroom, I walk away inspired. He just represents everything about public education. A self-described village teacher, McKinney outlined philosophies that drive him in his career, instill in students a call to adventure, believe in them no matter what, choose happiness every day, and walk the path of the dragon slayer, in McKinney's case, slay the dragon of ignorance through education. But his fifth and most important philosophy is to walk the path of the Shire. The greatest lesson I have learned, and the lesson that I teach my students, is to build your shire. Build it well, McKinney said. And my shire is in Burlington, in Alamance County, and I try to remain engaged in my shire because a shire is more than a town or a school system, it is family and friends and churches and local colleges and universities. It is our government leaders. It is our school administration. We all make up a shire, and we all are responsible for the success of our students. And my table represents my shire. My wife, our best friends, my colleagues, my former student, my principal, my superintendent, thank you for this honor. <laughs>